I watched Madam Web so you don't have to suffer for two hours like I did. Instead, here's the full movie in two minutes. Start the timer. The film opens in Peru where we see a pregnant Constance Webb and Ezekiel Sims leading a research group gathering information about a rare species of spiders with healing properties. Sims betrays the research group and attempts to kill the entire group leaving Constance for dead. She's then helped by a group of spider people who tried who then help her give birth to Cassandra Webb and she dies soon after. Cut to 30 years later and we see Cassandra working in the New York Fire Department along alongside a certain Ben Parker. She also then mentions to Ben during one of the missions whether or not he has been shot in Queens before. The two then rescue a man stuck in a car on the side of a bridge only for Cassandra to get trapped inside the car and fall to her death. She then experiences a weird vision and gets revived by Ben and she gains the ability to look into the future. She then attends Ben's sister-in-law's baby shower and they try to figure out the name of the baby. Let's pause right here. What do you think the name of the baby is? Could it be Ben? Could it be Richard Jr? They leave the baby unnamed but I think we all know the name of the baby. Sims meanwhile is trying to to hunt down the three girls, Julia Cornwall, Anya Corazon and Matty Franklin. These three are supposedly going to kill him in the future so he decides to kill them in the present. The three girls then coincidentally meet at Grand Central Station where Cassandra sees a vision of our beloved bad guy attacking them. She then attempts to save the girls and flees stealing a taxi in the process and also being labelled kidnapper. The group then head to a forest where Cassandra leaves the girls for safekeeping while she goes looking for answers. The girls then decide that they don't want to be safe and head out to a diner where Sims tracks them down and goes to a Cassandra learns that Sims had worked with her mother and decides to stop them at the diner, saving the girls. She then hands the girls over to Ben and she heads off to Peru to look for more answers about Sims. At Peru, Cassandra meets one of the people who help her mom give birth to her and explains the truth behind why her mom was at the Amazon. It turns out that Cassandra had a neurological disease but she was healed by the healing spider that helped with her birth at the start of the movie. He then tells her that when taking the responsibility, great power will come. At the exact same point in time, Mary Parker goes into labour, causing the girls to come out of hiding and head to the hospital. Cassandra, through the magic of plot, somehow ends up back in America, right in time to stop Sims from attacking Mary and Ben and the three girls. Cassandra and the girls then fight Sim, except no punches are actually thrown, and he is defeated by falling to his death. But the explosion results in Cassandra also being blind. But hey, she can see the future now, and she hints at the fact that Ben is going to be much more than an uncle. And the film ends with Cassandra monologuing about how the girls will be really powerful and she will help them, whilst getting a new glimpse at their super suits. I mean, personally, the amount of Spider Man references without actually mentioning Spider-Man kills me and this is probably the funniest part of the film and there's a whole bunch of other things that went wrong with this film but comment below your thoughts if you actually watched the film subscribe and be sure to check out this video where I recap the other cinematic masterpiece Morbius